What Ministry for Environment surveys show that about 54% of shoppers were bringing their own bag last April. In September, people were saying, about 91% of people were saying they always or usually bought their own bag. So I think we've seen New Zealanders' habits changing. We've seen the major retailers phase them out. So tens of millions of bags won't be going to landfill and won't risk ending up in the No, oceans. no, and that's great. But there is, even the Cabinet paper says there are unintended cons- consequences for uh, environmental impacts that may result if alternative shopping bags chosen by retailers and consumers have higher net life cycle impacts. And this is the, these are the bags, the emergency bags are the ones we're talking about, aren't we? And the, and, and, and the reality is someone are going to use it 55 times? Well, I think people realise when they go to the supermarket and they don't um, bring their own bag that they really should. So yes, some of those emergency bags will be used, but the bulk of people, I think, are shifting to bringing their own. What do you do about that issue of, of, of people who turn up to the supermarket and, uh, you know, like myself sometimes, I have to admit, you forget the bags. Uh, what is the option for consumers then? Well, I think we've all done that, you don't Corrin. want to take that heavier bag, do you? <laughs> no, but I think we've all done that and we've probably all um, bought one of the bags that the supermarkets are offering. It is progressively making that shift. I mean, my grandmother never used plastic bags going to the supermarket. That was what that generation did. And I think we're making the shift back to less plastic. So, yes, we all have our failures, but we're all trying to do the right thing. Is this going far enough? Uh, Greenpeace says in its uh, strategy that this is a drop in the bucket, that this really uh, is just not going anywhere near far enough to deal with the plastics problem in our oceans and and in our environment. It it doesn't go far enough, but what is really great is that it has started the conversation. People are now talking about single-use plastics and how we can phase them out. Supermarkets like Countdown and Foodstuffs are now offering people the chance to take reusable containers to the deli counter instead of having a plastic container. Uh, People are thinking phasing out straws, keep cups. But we've got a much wider work programme on waste. Later this morning, we'll be making an announcement with Minister Jones. That is another step forward. Will there be a dedicated plastics strategy and a plan that lays out a time frame for when a whole bunch of other plastics have to go? I'm thinking takeaway cup lids, stirrers, these sort of things. Will you have that plan? So a lot of the waste going to landfill is commercial industrial waste um, and other household waste. Later this year, um, the next couple of months, we're putting out a consultation document on the criteria for moving to regulated product stewardship. That's where manufacturers, retailers and consumers all take more responsibility for the products and what happens to them at the end of their life. So with things like tyres, lithium batteries, they are also significant problems. So tackling those first... But those criteria will also include packaging. So take, we are moving on that. Take more responsibility. Does that mean a plastic levy could be looked at? What we are doing is working to expand the landfill levy. It only applies to 10% of landfills. want to apply that much more widely and increase it. That generates revenue, which is all recycled back to help councils, progressive businesses and community organisations minimise waste. So there'll be a consultation document on that coming up. We're not exactly a a world leader on this, are we? I mean, the European Union seems a bit further advanced. They're talking about the idea of levies and and they've got plans and strategies in place. Why haven't New Zealand? Well, we're 10 years behind. There was very little done over the last decade, but we are acting. The team in Ministry for the Environment is working flat out. We've got these two major consultation documents and we've got an action plan to recharge our recycling network. The Ministry worked with local government and recycling operators to work out the eight key things that were needed to improve our recycling system. So that action plan Can is Can you give a guarantee that in the if you're re-elected and in years to come there will be further bans, that you can't just have the single-use plastic bags, you've got to extend it to other bits of plastic. And that's why the Waste Minimisation Act, Nandor Tanchos's um, Members Bill, which became a government uh, act, provides an ability to regulate priority products and to ensure... Right, that, so it's yes. actually the mechanisms there yes, to do the it. the mechanism is there and we are going to do consultation on using that mechanism in and the next couple of months. So you will, so that is a yes, you will go further? Yes, definitely going further. Mm-hmm.